had to get off my ass and go get it. Every man for themselves better stand on your pig. Better stack you some digits. Shit, what am I saying? Nigga, go get it. Never complain, look past the limits. And don't ask them for shit, all you get is some crickets. Get money, my number one mission. Since a young and I had that ambition, never the one to be hoping and wishing. And never needed your fucking permission. If I'm in it, I bet that it glisten. When I'm speaking, I know that they listen. Competition and not in my vision. Listen, I made a decision to make a decision. I'd rather be locking it down. I could have been locked up in prison. Yeah, but fuck it though. Every reword is three dimension. I look through dimensions. I'm feeling your tension, don't give it attention. I see it, I want it, go get it, I got it. Started my campaign from pain, finesse that L to a profit. I want it all in hundreds. I'ma do what the fuck I gotta do. Oh, make moves like a boss do. Do, do. Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy Rico, AK. Language like, man, you already know what it is, man. Shout out to a humble soul. So, I'm at the house one day, right? And uh, my phone ringing, got the music all loud and everything. And so, I pick up the phone, and I just hear an African accent, and I, I really can't even make it out. I'm like, hello? Hello? Who is this? Who is this? And I just keep hearing, you know, I couldn't make it out. So I'm about to hang up. I'm like, bro, who is this? And then I just hear, man, this Akon brother. So I told my girl, I said, hey, cut the music down, cut the music down. And he was like, man, this Akon brother, boo, man, I'm just trying to see what's up with you. So, you know, I talked to him, man, and, you know, he was just asking me a few questions. He was like, I got wind of your music, man. I, I think you're super dope, man. I want you to... You know, keep doing what you're doing. And it, he really just gave me words of encouragement. Like, how he got my number, what he heard, anything, I, I don't know. And that's why I say, like, like grinding is, is so important because you never know where your music might reach. You never know who hands the CD might get into. Like, well, nowadays it's MP3, but, you know, you, you just never know. And that could take you to the next level. And, and, and I saw that firsthand when I got that call because once I got that, I was full throttle then I was all in so and at the time I was working with a producer I was living in Atlanta but I was working with a producer in Alabama and I would drive to his house every weekend to go record and knock out stuff in one and um, a few years ago I dropped three mixtapes in one year uh, Warner Shots if you ever go look that up it's all on YouTube and all of that matter of fact I, my whole catalog on YouTube so you know if you, if you ever want to hear some stuff just type in Rico AK and pull it up. You know, I spoke about, you know, being a designer. At one point, I was paying so much money for people to do my graphics that I was just like, you know what, man, I'm finna learn how to do this myself. Right. So I remember a friend coming over and he was like, I got Photoshop on my computer, you want it? I was like, hey, yeah. And we put it on my computer and I started messing around with it. What I like to call went to YouTube University and learn how to really do it. And I turned that into a career, man. So, you know, it's 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 a beautiful thing nowadays. And, you know, I can walk the line of an artist and I can walk the line of a designer. But everything in my career hasn't always been great. I can't always say I always had good people around me. I can't always say I had the best of, like, people that had my best interests at heart. So I had to learn to take a lot of losses. You understand what I'm saying? And I want y'all to really hear this, man. I had to take a lot of losses in this game. But every time I took a loss, you best believe, eventually I picked myself back up and I kept it moving. And, you know, that that's that's the life of an artist, man. Like, you know, you, you have to learn to be forward thinking. You have to learn how to, you know, move on without people that aren't really in your corner. They might be in your corner today. But tomorrow, you know, it might be a whole different situation, especially once you start reaching a level of success. And, you know, the, the, the thing about, about music is, what kept me grounded is, it taught me how to be a man because I, I, I didn't grow up with a father, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I didn't really have, you know, 
strong people around me to, to, to guide me and push me or, or even help me in, in certain situations sometimes. All I had was myself. So I knew I had to be stronger than everybody mentally. I had to be um, prepared. I had to be sharp out here, man. So, you know, that's why I always try to push that message of motivating yourself and motivating others because once you do get around good people, you know, the energy, man, it's just, once that energy is reciprocated and, and you can feel it and, and, and you and you giving it off as well, like y'all gonna move mountains, man. And, and one thing I've always respected was, was groups like outcasts and stuff like that because you had two grown men who were able to put aside ego and, you know, rise above and, and, and really go to the next level. And I always say, like, like, like Tupac even said, he was like, all I need is 50 niggas and you know we can change the world and you know not saying i live by his philosophy but i definitely agree with it you know what i'm saying like if strength in numbers if you got the right people around you and everybody has the same motivation and the same drive and the same determination something's gonna happen and, and it's gonna be in your favor you understand what i'm saying so sure, sure, um, sure. You know, that's, that's why I always try to push that message in my music because, you know, a lot of people, they just want to push you to get high, push you to, you know what I'm saying, just, it, it's no future in what they pushing, but it's always a future in motivation. Sure. Well, Rico AK, man, appreciate you, you know, taking time out to tap in with a humble soul. For sure. Uh, tell us a little bit about your journey. Uh, congrats on the, on the project, man. Congrats much success on your future endeavors. Is there anything else you want to touch on, man, before we get up out of here? Man, I just want to say shout out to a humble soul, man. Um, you know, I want everybody, if you support me, to go support a humble soul. If you support a humble soul, come support me. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's about building. It's about networking. And it's about connecting the dots so you can go a step above, man. Okay.